Hi, my name is Ed Hawkins and in this video we're going to be taking a look at how SolidWorks and AlphaCam can work together for the furniture industry. We're going to use SolidWorks to create a fairly straightforward kitchen cabinet just to highlight some of the functionality we want to show. So initially the best way to start with these types of things is to draw a rough layout sketch uh, indicating the envelope we want to work within and then build your panels around that. The great thing about this is that we don't need to worry too much about uh, the overall dimensions because they're specified by the initial rectangle and we can build intelligence into what we're doing like adding an equals relationship here to the panel thicknesses. Once the panels are created, there's a little bit more intelligence that we can add. So we can actually create global variables to control the size of dimensions. So in the panel production industry, sometimes particular thicknesses may not be able to be purchased. If we create a global variable, we can ensure that uh, all panel sizes change as and when we want them to. So quickly just adding on a top and a bottom panel here, we can also reuse key uh, library features. So maybe it's a particular style of cutout that you use often. Again, with hole sizes, uh, hole positions, we can easily add these into the carcass design uh, using something called the hole wizard. So we can specify that we only want to cut through a particular panel uh, and then initially position the placement of the first hole. Moving on from there, building intelligence into what we're doing, we can actually specify its height is half the panel thickness. So again, just ensuring that if we do update that panel thickness, that the information changes without us having to worry about it. We can also do patterning within the system, but not just straightforward linear patterning. Here we can actually set some variables within the system that allow the pattern to update if the depth of the carcass changes. We're just going to build an offset back into here and again just relating the position of that back panel and thickness to relevant areas of the geometry. So an 8mm offset built in here and then again half the panel thickness uh, applied to the outside. So we're not actually adding the width of that back panel at all. We'll just uh, increase the size of that so it completely covers the back of the carcass. And again, using intelligent end conditions here, we can say that that's offset from the surface by half the thickness of the panels again as well. The indent tools are a really useful piece of functionality for the furniture industry, allowing us to create routed channels within the components very, very quickly. Uh, we can also just adjust sizes of panels that are maybe cut too big just with some simple uh, extrude cut commands here. So we're just clearancing out the back end there just to allow that panel to fit in properly. One of the things you'll notice is that we've actually cut through the back panel here. Because we're a parametric CAD system we can go back in and just remove that particular body uh, from being cut. You'll notice when we increase the size or, or decrease the width of this particular carcass that everything updates in the way that we've designed it to update. So again, with a depth increase, you'll see the number of holes populating, the spaces uh, between those stays the same. So it can really help when you're designing ranges of products uh, or just doing you know similar construction across, uh, across pieces a lot of the time. Some of the downstream benefits here are the ability to create cutting lists within the system which will list out all the panel sizes. We can then go over into the 2D drafting side of things and take a look at how we lay out some 2D drawing views. So very quickly just dropping the standard uh, orthographic, orthographic views and an isometric view there. We can drop in that cut list into the drawing. Uh, we could then go back to the model maybe and create an exploded view if it was a particular uh, complicated construction that we wanted to highlight how it went together and then show that isometric view in the exploded state. Just to make it easier for manufacture we can also annotate automatically with balloons uh, the isometric view against the cut list table. Cross sections, uh, things like that, very very easy to create. Detail views, again, uh, just specify that we want to circle, place a detail view down. We can even do these in a range of different styles, so a rectangular one here that we're placing uh, up the top. Applying dimensions is easy, we can read these through from the model or alternatively uh, manually place those if we need to, giving us full production drawing. So what we've seen is simple sketch construction controlling the overall size. 
We use multi-body solids to create separate panels, the hole detail and library features, equations to drive the hole spacing, molded profiles from the library and simple to create variations. Mm -hmm.